Okay. Okay. So as Steve was talking about in this well and, and getting a submersible pump here, there are a few other challenges that we need to address uh, in creating the system uh, here in Ghana Eves at the school. Uh, number one is we're going to need power to run the submersible pump. We're looking at maybe upwards of 5,000 gallons a day being pulled out of, the, out of the well and we need a pump that is going to be able to handle that and electricity uh, to run that pump, either be solar or bring in a generator. The second thing that we need to look at is the distribution line that Pastor Milo is looking at is about 240 feet away at this wall and uh, in order to get the water there we need to have a rise run slope. I'm thinking somewhere around uh, an inch of slope for every uh, 12 inches or 12 feet of run um, which would put us somewhere around a foot and a half to two feet. Uh, off the off the ground minimum or at least above that wall that wall is uh, roughly four feet in height the third problem that we're needing to address is storage and while there is a basin here um, that's roughly four feet tall uh, five feet deep and six feet wide obviously that's not enough storage capacity for 5,000 gallons of water so we're looking at bringing in uh, tough tanks thousand gallon tanks and daisy chaining uh, four to five of those tanks together and also having to elevate them. If we, In order to get the, the gravitational head pressure we need to run it out to the spigot, if we don't elevate then, this, then another problem for that distribution becomes getting a booster pump uh, to take the water from the storage facility and push it out to the distribution line. Again, that's going to require electricity either in the means of a generator that runs on diesel uh, or solar power. Um, fortunately, we have engineers and technicians that can, from just this simple description and the few photos that we're taking, uh, size and engineer the electricity, the electrical needs, uh, the plumbing needs, and put a price on it so that we can come back right up the project and understand what all the ins and outs and the funding needs are in order to get this done. We're now going to be heading over to a second site. It looks like everybody's loaded up. I'm actually holding up progress, so we're going to get in the trucks and go to the second site and see what we can do over there.